The harsh Soviet winter is biting hard now. The cold seeps into everything, and even the fires we have to huddle around to survive do not warm us to the bones. The heavy snow showers have reduced the recent flight time significantly, and rather than flying we find ourselves more often clearing the snow with the ground crews in an effort not to freeze. We have been able to fly a few missions in the past weeks. These have been restricted to escorting transport aircraft as they attempt to drop supplies to airfields and logistical hubs to keep those fellows alive. Things are very grim. I could not think of a more hostile environment and so far from my Italian homeland. Still, despite the supply shortages and the weather, we have been assigned a new mission today. This morning, we will be heading up to escort a flight of bombers to their target in the town of Istra. For this sortie, we are only able to send up three aircraft, but have chosen some of the experienced pilots in Grupo 22. Andreas, Theobald and myself. I hope it will be enough. Hi everyone, welcome back to Isle 2 Great Battles. Here we are in the Mackie 202, heading up as a part of a three aircraft flight. In the early morning, or well, the early winter morning light, yes, snow covered landscape and the freezing conditions uh, that they bring with them. Uh, as you say, it's coming uh, just up to quarter past nine in the morning. Uh, we're looking to form up with these bombers, and once we form up with them, we'll be uh, heading northeast to Istra so they can strike wherever their designated target is. Our job is to keep them safe until they get there and back. And there they are, the flying V of bombers. Over front lines, you can see the bombers down there. We're doing our patrol. Hello, hello, boys. You've spotted them as well. One, two, three, four, five, six aircraft. And we're outnumbered two to one, but let's um, go and engage. With oh, hello, there's more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe not. Maybe we miscounted. Right. Let's go and engage. You with me, boys? Heavily outnumbered. Oh, there's more of them! There's a second flight. Oh my god. What's that, 12 to 3? Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. We are heavily outnumbered. Get out of my way. Oh, there's more of them. Okay, this is not looking good, my friends.
we're going to have to just fight tooth and nail to try and stay alive and to occupy them as long as possible. Jeez, coming at me from all angles. To give the bombs a chance to get away was what I was going to finish saying. Oh my goodness me. Surge of the engine there, that's not good. Big threes by the looks of it. Holy moly, there's millions of them. Stalling. I'm surging the engine as well as I'm diving, overspeeding it, which is not good. Got to be careful. We're in hostile territory. But what can I do? It's absolutely surrounded by them. Feels like the aircraft's finding itself at the moment. I'm stalling left, right, and centre. Uh, what I might do, actually, I might use the old trick we used to do when we're outnumbered: is hit the deck, and then they'll form to chase us, and then we can um, make them overshoot, and then hopefully attack them if they're rookie pilots. That might work. Let's get down low. Try and drag them down here. time buying time for those bombers. Oh that doesn't sound good. Is that one of our wing 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 getting shot down? Here they are they're coming down to play. Oh, did somebody just go in? Could have been artillery fire. Oh, ho, ho. 
Watch out, we've got one coming in. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm out of control. Oh no, I'm going to have to bail. I'm going to have to bail. And after all that Luca Rosso has endured, being snubbed by command for so long, being given trash missions to escort transportation aircraft time and time again, losing his edge in the dogfight, well it's finally told. Absolutely outnumbered, I think at least three to one. Uh, we lost our tail, lost control of the aircraft, had to bail. Unfortunately, we were at such low altitudes, we did not survive the bailout. And there we have it, confirmation, Luca Rosso was killed in action. It wasn't good news for anyone. Theobald and Andreas also were killed. And that is what you call an absolute slaughter. Only three aircraft sent up to defend the bomber formation against relentless Soviet fighters. Just shows you how little worth they put on the life in the uh, 22 Grupo. So with the 22 Grupo, they lose three of their pilots. Three they cannot afford to lose as well. Um, Andreas, Theobald and ourselves all relatively experienced fighter pilots. Uh, Andreas perished with uh, 12 aircraft kills, four vehicles, sorry, three vehicles, one railroad, three armaments, four buildings, and three marine. He's um, completed 40 successful missions from 49 outings and 73 hours of flight experience. Theobald, 13 aircraft shot down, uh, 37 successful missions from 54 sorties, 107 hours of flight experience. And despite our relative um, small number of flying hours, in 13 hours and 20 successful missions from 20, Luca Rosso's end score is nine aircraft kills. At just 20 years of age, Luca Rosso sadly perishes on the 23rd of November 1941. Uh, he gained the rank of Oberfield Webel. Uh, he earned his pilot's badge, the wound badge in black. On the 14th of October in 1941, he earned the Iron Cross Second Class. On the 4th of November 1941, he earned the Iron Cross First Class. And on the 21st of November 1941, he earned the Front Flying Class for Fighters in Bronze. Those medals will be sent to his parents back in Italy, as well as his record with nine fighter kills to his name. A fine young man who did his duty as best as he could, but unfortunately was let down. But for now, sadly, that is the end of Luca Rosso's story. It ends in the frigid wastes outside Moscow.